Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. Also, I'm giving away a ton on my Twitter, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, whitelist. So links in the description down below. Follow me because you do not want to miss it. So before we talk about upcoming projects, let's just cover a bit of news that happened over the weekend. So Nanopass announced an official partnership with Skullpunk's Hideout. These are a 2D PFP collection. However, they have been working on their 3D avatars for a while, and they will be dropping their 3D avatars for free to their holders. And as I said, they've made a partnership with Nanopass, so you will be able to use these in the Nanoverse when that comes out in phase three of Nanopass's roadmap. Next, we got Clonex, which had their pre-sale over the weekend. Now, this number of items here is wrong. Last I checked, it was about to hit 9,000 NFTs. So the most we will see during the public sale is 11,000. Now the floor is quite high. They already have a thousand Ethereum in trading volume. So as everybody predicted, these are gonna do quite well. Now the starting price is confirmed at three Ethereum. We still don't know how low they will go. However, it does seem to be like it will go to one Ethereum if it even makes it there. I'm hopeful that they go under two Ethereum. I think people are gonna try to wait as long as they can, unless they see volume really spiking up for the public sale. But like I assume most of you are gonna try to do i'm gonna to try to hold off as long as possible and maybe pick one up for 1.2 ethereum i think that would be an amazing price especially since the floor is at 3.6 if i don't want to hold on to it and i just want to flip it that's a 3x right there although i do really want to hold on to this because i do really want one but it might be better just to pick one up after reveal now keep in mind i'm filming this 12 hours before i'm posting this video so the floor price might have completely changed by the time i'm dropping this video so the first project i want to talk about is ren goku legends now let's first take a look at the video that they show on their website If we quickly scroll through the quality of work that went into making this and the amount of effort, you can tell that they have a triple A team in terms of creation and production. Speaking of the team, they are fully doxxed and very experienced in creative strategy, interactive experience development, and music and sound design. Members of the team have worked on games like Battlefield, Need for Speed, as well as movies such as Blade Runner and Wonder Woman. So Ren Goku is an immersive web story with eight chapters of live paintings, interactive visual exploration, VR and 360 experiences with spatial audio and as a holder you'll be able to decide a lot about the outcome for this project the way they explained it to me is by comparing it to a dungeons and dragons campaign system meaning they know the direction that they want to take the project but how they get there is completely up to the community so there's going to be eight different clans and something i love is the way they decided to hand out their whitelist is by participating in games in the discord so there's absolutely no invite contest there is no level grinding you just join a clan and then participate in clan wars form alliances battle against raid bosses all while earning a discord currency which you can use to get whitelist and then all this can be applied to the project itself when they introduce their own token as for future plans for the project they plan on building a virtual museum in unreal engine 5 where each wing of the museum will explore the history of different clans prominent figures and even discord members that contributed to the project they also have plans for smaller collections introducing a token and staking system metaverse and land ownership and eventually they want to release their own game however that's years away so we're not going to develop on that any further as for the nfts they're going to be these samurai armors and the minting process is personalized and interactive the way it works is you're going to get to choose between three of the eight clans and then you'll get to make your own nft so once you've chosen which clan you want to be a part of you're going to get to roll all eight of the main traits and then you're going to be able to select from three options for each now on top of the typical traits there's going to be both sounds and animated backgrounds so as you select from those traits they're going to automatically generate a sound layer of ambience weapons war drums or a ton more as well as a background aura animation so these nfts are going to be 0.1 ethereum the supply is going to be 8787 and the estimated launch is for mid december so if you like this project and you want to get whitelisted for it but you don't have time to participate in the games in their discord be sure to head on over to my twitter because i'm going to be giving away five whitelist spots for this project links in the description down below next on our list is dino babies now this is a locked discord so i know that's going to bother some people it does work at building up hype and fomo for the project I 
and it's really been trending lately. We're seeing a ton of different projects use this strategy. I also think it helps keep out a lot of the bots if they drop the link in the correct way. But I completely understand people's frustration when all the projects are doing this, especially when they're doing this at the same time. So I'm not personally in the Discord yet, but a lot of people have told me to check out this project, so I did. So Dino Babies is launching its own TV show, and by owning an NFT, you are part of the creation process. So it's basically a DAO where you can make decisions on the voice actors, what kind of ads they run, who they're partnering with, and so on. Now they do mention that in a future article, they're going to dive much deeper into the tokenomics and i know they had an ama yesterday that i was not able to listen to however for now we can see that the nfts are going to passively create dino eggs you will not need to stake your nfts they will be introducing additional characters in the future seasons they plan on having space pirates that can steal unclaimed eggs so they're trying to introduce a bit of the game mechanics that we're seeing lately the future characters will be stakeable and they also talk about suiting up and modifying your nfts they also give you a short roadmap for the first three seasons as well as introduce you to the team and the artist and founder for this project is fully doxxed but like i said quite a few people have asked me about this project so that's always a good sign so i'm going to do my best to get in the discord so i suggest that you follow their twitter and turn on notifications next we have a few pixel projects that i'm keeping my eye on the first one of course is another locked discord however there's already 14,000 members in there and there's only going to be 3,800 nfts with 3,000 whitelist spots now the art for this project looks awesome i'm a big fan of how these pieces look i believe there's more art that is isn't available on their Twitter in the Discord. I'm not going to leak it. I'm going to allow the team to do that on their own terms. But speaking purely from an art point of view, I really love how these pieces look. Now, there is no roadmap yet. There is no website. So I can't tell you too much about this project. So once again, follow them on Twitter, turn on notifications, and try your best to get into the Discord. But like I said, for this one, there's already 14,000 people in the Discord. So it might be best to just try your luck with the public sale if they do end up having a public sale for the final 800. Next on the list is Tensai Turtles, and this is a pixel project that generates a token that does not have a locked Discord, so feel free to join at any time. They are still giving away a ton of whitelist spots. So this project is going to have a supply of 4,444, and they plan on funding their DAO with 30% of the funds from the public sale, as well as 50% of the seven legendary NFTs that are going to be auctioned off. Now in phase two of the roadmap, they plan on having some sort of game where if you win, you could win a flask, and then you can go ahead and combine it with your Tensai Turtle to create a meta turtle the meta turtles are going to passively earn you five leaf tokens per day and in the faq they mentioned that only 50 percent of the turtles are going to turn into meta turtles so i assume there's only ever going to be 2222 flasks so the uses for their token are going to be cosmetic upgrades voting as well as breeding which is in phase four of the roadmap where you will be able to breed a meta turtle with a tensai turtle while using your tokens to create a hybrid turtle and hybrid turtles are going to generate two leaf tokens per day finally the team for this project is fully doxed and they link you to their socials so this is going to be on imx the price has not yet been released the mint date is estimated for early december and there will be 4444 nfts that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button don't forget i am doing a ton of giveaways on my twitter i'm giving away the five ren goku legend nfts i'm giving away crypto i'm also going to be doing more nano pass giveaways so if you don't want to miss that link in the description down below if you are already subscribed to my channel would you kindly hit that subscribe button smash that bell notification thank you for watching the crypto gorilla peace